Taurus, and welcome to your monthly reading for February 2022. First, I'll pull a court card for you to see how you're showing up to this month. Page of Wands. All right, someone's got an idea. Someone can see the potential of a potential, oh, potential of a potential, of a poten potential venture, okay, or adventure. And so the Page of Wands is, Wands is a message to um, to root your ideas, to plant the seeds and to root your ideas into reality as in make the steps to um, map out the steps to achieving maybe some goals that you have. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What is your opportunity for this month? The high priestess. Okay, so I think that the potential here, something that is inspiring you, um, is something regarding possibly education, um, possibly, um, you know, High Priestess, she's like also the card of secrets. So I don't know if you've been working on a secret project, Taurus, or, um, hmm. What are you planning? There's like this opportunity here. There's a lot of mystery already, Taurus. I'm liking your energy. All right, the challenge. Mm. Is the Six of Swords. All right, so I think the challenge here is to leave something behind to move on to start this new opportunity. Um, there might be actual travel involved, like moving somewhere. Very interesting, Taurus. Um, we're going to keep going with the reading and see what gets clarified here. The Three of Cups above. Yep. You've got community on your mind. Are you starting a school? Because there's education, there's community. The foundation is tower. So something in your life has suddenly changed. And I think that's why you are um, sort of on this new adventure, this new path, dreaming up all of the ideas, it seems like. And so the challenge becomes, since things are already so different, right, in this foundation that you have of what you're coming into this month with, how far are you willing to go? And so I don't know if you've told anybody this, Taurus, but the cards are showing me that you have your eyes set on some really distant horizons. All right. I think that you really want to celebrate your life. And so you're looking for the most meaningful way you could possibly do this. All right, then we have um, the magician here. You have what it takes and the chariot, and you're going to do it. You have what it takes, and you're going to do it. Here's the thing about the chariot, though, as like the first outcome card on the table, is that the chariot requires a level of vulnerability. The chariot isn't just the energy of go get them. There is so much vulnerability required with the chariot because the chariot is considering everything that they've had to go through to get to this point and they're carrying that with them not as a burden but as an influence and an inspiration okay inspiration seems to be a key a, a word that's like really um, honing or asking for my attention right now so I don't know if you're um, an inspiring person for other people or if you're just feeling really inspired right now <clears throat> Taurus Let's keep going. We got the Devil, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. There's that adventure again. You're mobilizing. By the end of this, you're able to mobilize your idea or your project, your secret project, it seems like. It doesn't have to be secret. Um, maybe it's just that... Um, yeah, maybe it's just related to education somehow, or um, you're being called. You feel like you're being called to something. Your soul is 
pulling you in a certain direction. And so that does require some vulnerability there to let go of the reins, if you will, and let your own willpower dictate where you go. You're, it's not a forceful sort of controlling like, and now this, and now this, and here are the steps, and you're forcing a situation to go in your favor. I think you're like letting go in the most beautiful way possible. And your, your strong feelings, your inspiration around whatever this, is, this thing is, is literally guiding you to that very thing toward fulfillment. So, so I have the Eight of Cups here and then the Six of Swords as the challenge and also, sorry, the Eight of Cups in the sort of Hopes and Fears and the Six of Swords as the challenge card. I think that you're going to have to leave something behind in order to... <laughs> the devil is here. Um, you're showing up as the devil again. So uh, more earth energy for you. I'm taking this as like, you're getting what you want, but you might have to sign a deal with the devil. <laughs> I don't think you're signing your soul away necessarily, like not in the negative sort of aspects of like what we think of that. But I think that there is a very strong soul message here that your soul is taking over and you are giving yourself away to your own soul, your own will, your own destiny, if you will. Something changed the foundation of this even occurring is that something really drastic changed and I'll just say this all of our lives have changed incredibly drastically in the last couple years and continue to change every day so how far are you willing to go to make your ideas your dreams a reality I feel like the universe is coming in and saying were you serious about that? Because um, the opportunity is sort of showing up here and it's almost like get real. Not like that, get real. Just like now's your time. The time, um, you might be, um, there might be somebody who comes across your path, a water sign. We have the Queen of Cups here um, who's maybe compassionate to your situation and can help you mobilize toward the thing you want to create okay that's what I'm seeing is like the environment card is this queen of cups um, let's get some more information first of all show me the um, hmm. show me the tower what was this change Justice, Page of Cups, the Sun. Oh, interesting. You know, um, Justice, the Law, or some sort of institution, Page of Cups, um, and the Sun, uh, possibly working with children, and the Sun, positivity. And then, you know, I'm just looking up here. We have the Three of Cups over here as well. Taurus, I think that your idea for sure has something to do with community or people. Because I see the Page of Cups with the sun here. And this is like, um, there's a lot of positivity in this sort of like very young energy. And it's very playful. So the Page of Cups is sort of associated with children a little bit or just like young people. This might be your spirit as well as like your foundation. But if this is what's changing, then it's almost like this change had to occur to balance out sort of how you're showing up for these young people or how you're showing up for your own young person in you, your youthful spirit. It's almost like the universe wants to do right by you and connect, reconnect you with the fire that you have inside, the inspiration that you have that you want to bring out and manifest into the world as some project or some opportunity. Does that make sense? Um, I think you're very people-oriented, whatever this is. And um, let's see, um, let's actually see the High Priestess. Let's go back into this opportunity, the High Priestess. 
we have the King of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Emperor. Yeah, whatever this is, I, I feel like that this is deeply, this opportunity is deeply connected to who you are. You are getting the opportunity that you seek. And I think that you have a lot of power. I think that this is something you have a lot of knowledge about. Whatever this project is, you've already sort of um, done the laps, if you will. You have what it takes. That's why the magician is showing up in the past. He's not showing up in the future as in like you have all the things to make this happen. You've already done this. That's why you, the high priestess has clarified this opportunity, this secret, or this opportunity, this, this thing around education or, or however that resonates, is you've, you've done the research. Like there's some sort of truth that you know. You don't require any validating around the subject matter or the project that you're creating because you've become the expert. I don't know if you recognize this for yourself or not. Uh, but I think that people do look up to you for validation versus you seeking it out. I think that you did realize that and that's what is what lead, is leading to this opportunity that, hey, I can use this. I can mobilize this idea um, to build something for myself. What are you building? Very curious. Uh, please show me the Eight of Cups. What what does um, Taurus need to leave behind in order to take full advantage of this opportunity in the month of February? Knight of Pentacles, routine. Something about your day-to-day -day needs to be left behind. The Queen of Pentacles, leaving your comfort zone. And the Four of Cups. So first of all, I think that this opportunity is one where you will have to turn down others. This isn't some, this this isn't a small thing. This is a big deal, and I think that you're not going to have enough room to, to like, pick this up, lead this project, lead this endeavor, go on this adventure, and be available to every little thing that shows up that wants your attention. I think that you have to commit to it. That's why you have to leave certain things behind. And not only that, you're also leaving behind your comfort zone when you do this. So those are your challenges, Taurus, for the month of February. Let's take a look, one more thing. Let's take a look into um, the Queen of Cups. There's somebody coming along your path who I believe is a, compa who's a compassionate person or someone who's compassionate to your situation. Uh, maybe it's somebody who believes in you. Um, someone you can connect to on an emotional level that's going to help you with this thing. We have the Hermit, the Five of Cups, and the Star. Well, um, that's Virgo energy and Aquarius energy. And while neither of those are a water sign, um, you know, the star is the water bearer, and it is a symbol of hope. So I, uh, I do believe that you are currently in a place, maybe this isn't a person necessarily, it might be, but I think that in terms of what this means for the environment that you're currently in, I think you're trying to assess <laughs> whether or not it's selfish for you to do this. Um... I don't see this as a selfish thing at all. I think that you're, I think you want to know whether this opportunity will lead, will be successful and will lead to the sort of like rejuvenation of spirit and inspiration that it honestly has the potential to be, not even potential, it will be. But something here is making you feel a little bit disappointed or sad. The Five of Cups, it's like you got to look at the blessings of something like this. And yeah, we'll be leaving our comfort zone. But the wisdom to be gained from um, pursuing an opportunity that has this kind of energy, I think it can't be matched with any other opportunity. 
this is a very unique thing. And so it looks like you are still trying to understand why you're being called to do this. Um, I think that the Five of Cups, you know, it is a card of grief. And so for me, the grief is associated that which is being left behind when you pursue this opportunity. Um, but as the star, as the final clarifying card in this environment, I think you understand that this is how you grow. This is how you move past the tower. The star comes right after the tower. It's the card of hope. So it's how are you building yourself back up? What, what becomes your structure after everything has fallen apart or after everything has sort of changed in your life? You now have an incredible opportunity to rebuild something from scratch. I think I've used this metaphor before in one of my videos, but it's like building a Lego castle. If you have another thing built of Legos and you're told to build a castle out of Legos, you have to do all that work of dismantling the Legos before you can make the thing. That's not the case here. You sort of have like an, an open, empty slate. And so now you can build whatever you want. And I would just focus on that, on that opportunity um, to build something that you've always wanted to be a part of or create that maybe is missing in the world. Okay, so in that sense, you're a trailblazer, Taurus. Um, I would spend the month of February really honing in on this idea. And again, the Page of Wands is saying, look at the potential of this, this thing, this idea, this opportunity, and ground that idea in the current conditions of your reality, as in what are the steps, the concrete steps needing to be taken in order for this uh, to manifest. All right? And then set course for a great adventure. I'd be your friend, Taurus. This looks like a really fun, fun reading for the month of February. So yeah, I don't know if you're traveling or you're on an adventure or um, you're building something um, in the constructs of your mind that will lead to one in the future. In, in any case, um, that's what I have for you, uh, Taurus, for the month of February. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.